Hi everyone, Rebecca Taylor here, and today I'll be talking about mistakes I have made as a writer. There's a lot of different categories or areas in which we make mistakes as writers, but the one I'm focused on today is probably coming to mind because we are entering the new year and I'm making lots of goals and plans and thinking of all the ways I'm going to be engaging um, with readers and on social media, here on YouTube, writing blogs. And I realize that one of the biggest mistakes I've made as a writer in the past is getting really busy with all of the writing related tasks that come along with this author life that are not actually writing the book itself. So what do I mean by that? So in years past, um, I spent a lot of time and energy on making sure that those posts were up daily. Um, also being a lot more just engaged on things like Twitter and Facebook. And I found that I was so busy kind of keeping up with, with all of those tasks that are certainly important and you do need to have them as, as a writer these days. I was doing that in lieu of actually creating new work or staying on track with regards to my word count and, and getting the new books written. So I feel like I think it can be very easy for writers to get sort of consumed with all of the writing adjacent tasks that we need to stay on top of all the time. Because certainly we do need to develop those platforms. We do need to do things to try to reach out to readers and make them aware of our work. While at the same time, we can't be so busy doing that that we're neglecting the creation of the work itself, the thing that is going to bring the readers to us in the first place. So something I just kind of wanted to sort of put out there, uh, examples of things that have kind of, you know, I, I've become too focused on them and not so much on the writing are, like I had mentioned, blog posts, writing articles, participating in forums, um, engaging in chats, certainly Facebook and um, all of the many different sort of groups you can belong to, author chat groups. And I understand why, particularly now in the pandemic, and none of us have been able to attend the conferences that we really love so much. So I get that that community is a good place for us because we don't often have just other fellow writers in our day-to-day -day life. So we do like to connect with these these members of our writer tribe online. Um, but I think that sometimes the, all the talking about writing can become what we're spending most of our time on instead of the actual writing itself. And I have definitely done this. So I found that the answer is not to not do any of those things. I think it's the rare writer these days that can afford to just write a book and, and put it out there. And then of course their publisher will take care of of all of the marketing and sales and, and outreach. And don't get me wrong, there are those those writers out there that, that have that luxury, but they're very, it's a very, very, very small percentage. Most of us really do need to um, put ourselves out there with regards to handling the bulk, the bulk of the, the marketing efforts. And that's just the reality of, of the publishing industry today. But definitely, I think finding that balance and prioritizing tasks and writing always being the first and foremost, and while at the same time realizing that we can sometimes trick ourselves into believing that we're getting, we're getting a lot done, we're getting a lot accomplished with these blogs and these videos and all of the interaction on social media, on Twitter and Facebook, because it is a part of our, it's a part of our writerly business it's just not the the one thing that sometimes as writers we can we can kind of avoid and that's the sitting down and getting the words on the page so just wanted to share this is definitely um it's definitely a writer mistake that i have made in the past um, going months and months and months very busy with all of the the trappings all of the things that we need to do to support our writing career but losing focus and losing sight of the manuscript, the thing that is going to actually be the book. And that continuing for, for too long removes us from, from the purpose, 
of, of all the blogs and videos and, and social networking in the first place. So just thought that that might be a little tidbit to kind of take away. And uh, my solution to this is definitely just always making sure that get the writing done is the first priority on my, my daily list. And particularly now moving into 21, when I have all my grand plans about being much more engaged with regards to that outreach aspect of my career. Don't forget to do the writing first. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for joining me for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you.